Hey everyone, Nathan here. Today we're going to have a look at how you might use the test for block command when using Minecraft Education Edition. So let's have a look at our advanced ones and we're going to start with test for block. So in Minecraft you can get a command block to test for or check for a particular block. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, something has to be placed here and we will give the player a lever um, so they can get through the door because they can't open this door otherwise without something activating it. So we can kind of like decide how you, because you can decide how you want this to work in any way possible. So here's, I've got a repeating command block and I've got a normal command block. I've got my redstone comparator, and this is just kind of to tidy things up. Now, repeating command blocks, how did I get that? You, you normally can just give them to yourself. So if we go forward slash, and then you go give at yourself, and then you start writing command and hit tab until you get repeating command block and hit enter, and that'll give you one. The other alternative is, is you've got a normal command block by doing the same thing is you can place it, click on it and click here to change it to a repeating one, just like that. And now it's purple, but let's have a look. Now I'm going to put them down here because I want to hide all my work because that's pretty important with command block work. And so I'm going to place this down. I'm going to open it up and I have to think of a block that we want to test for. Now a test for block is made up of multiple components. So if I bring it up here first, if I go test for block, you can see that it's gonna ask me for its position. So where is the block? And what is the, the name of the block that you want? So if I just jump to that, there it is there. So it's gonna say what, what it is that you want. So we could say we wanna go for like a gold block. So we know that we're gonna to need to use the word gold underscore block. So let's start with our coordinates first. So we're gonna say it has to be placed in here. So I stand here at this exact coordinate and I write them down. So it's 5, 1, 4, 31, 106. They're my coordinates. And so I can come back right click it's forward slash test all one word block and then my coordinates so it's 514 31 106 and then what block is it it is a gold underscore block if you're ever unsure around the exact wording or the um of the block because some of them have underscores some of them have names that you didn't think they're associated with. The best way to just check is to hit enter and just go give at yourself and then search for what it is that you want. Just start writing the words in. And so if I'm looking for anything gold, I can see all of my options coming up. So that's gonna test for it. And then essentially what we do is we come back in and where it says it needs redstone, we just change it to always active. And this just means it's like a, like it's a constantly checking for it. It's like an until coding here. So, you know, until it notices that the block is there, it won't give me the lever to get in the door. So we need to set that part of it up. So let's put the command block here. We need to keep this gap for our comparator. And this part's nice and easy. This goes back to kind of what we were doing at the beginning. This is just a basic give. So forward slash give at the player a lever like that. Then what I do is I put down my comparator pointing in the correct direction. So pointing in this direction. So they're connected. And if I open this up, it would just say that, um, that there's nothing there. Okay. So it's expecting a gold block, but there's just air. So it's not functioning and this isn't lighting up, but let's test it out. Let's give ourselves a gold block. And we're going to place it in here. And if you notice what happened was there, I got given a lever. 
So if I look, this is now activated because when I look at this, um, this command block, it says that it successfully found the block it was looking for at these positions and specifically looking for that block. So why have I got it down the ground here? Just because I like to keep things really nice and tidy like so. There we go. And so we imagine if we're playing, if we've played a game that I've found or collected or smithed my gold block, I walk up, I place it in and I get given my lever. I put my lever on my door and I can progress to the next component.